amazing. Hello? Uh, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can't believe how fast sound travels along string. Can you believe it? Did I ever tell you about the time I built a string can telephone using fishing line? It didn't work as well. What was the difference? I caught a fish. Oh, it's a miracle. A miracle. Hey, do you have any gum? Sure do. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. I, you're welcome! I know, I can open mine wider. <laughs> oh, hey everybody, welcome to the So-and-So Show. I'm Brandon. I'm John, and as always, we're excited to have you with us today. That's right, today is going to be Electric. Mm -hmm. Powerful. Oh, shocking. Uh, enlightening. Uh, 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 voltaic. Nice. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All of those adjectives will make a lot more sense once you meet our very special guest. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Hi. Oh, hey, come on in. Whoa. Yeah, have yeah, a seat. yeah, please do. Please do. Here you go. Thank you. Yep. Uh, so tell us who you are and what you know. Uh, my name is Sparky, and I know all about electricity and power lines. Hey. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. Whew, no worries. No, just a little wake up call. Yeah. <laughs> hey. So you work on the power lines? Yep, all over town. Oh. Gotta keep everybody connected, you know? Mm hmm. So we definitely appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, just last week, a bunch of birds attack a line, and 14 houses lost power until I climbed up there and got the birds off. Mm. You know, I told them, That's bird for, get off of there, these people need power. Wow. You know, they flew away pretty quickly, and I uh, fixed the line right up. Well, effective. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Four seconds off the clock! Shannon got the ball! He goes for three from the corner! It's gone! It's gone! The clock back to win! So yeah, birds can be a menace to power lines. What just happened? Hmm? You... Yeah, are you listening to the game with earbuds or something? Oh, did I pick up a radio station again? Uh -huh. <laughs> Pitfalls of the job. Oh, that's odd. Yeah, but oddly convenient. Hey, go Flapjack! Hey! Hey, hey Flapjack! So, uh, Sparky, what's your favorite thing about your job? Hmm, lots of things. I like the adventure of being up high, getting a sky view of the city, mm. knowing all the intricacies of how electricity works. I mean, the lines have to be connected just right. Mm -hmm. That was Mel, Solomon, and Greg with their chart top and holiday classic. There's a squirrel in my Christmas tree. You know what that sound means. The 27th caller wins two tickets to the Monster Golf Cart Derby in Sheboygan this Thursday. That's 55542. Five, yep, lots of things I like about the job. <sighs> what? 55542? Uh, five, 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 four, 42 hmm? four, what? Uh, your job is so important. I mean, without you, we wouldn't be able to turn on the lights oh. or, or, or use the internet. Mm. Yeah, yeah, or be able to keep my grandmother's Christmas fruitcake preserved all year long. We freeze a year's supply every December. That would be an unfortunate loss in a power outage. Oh, you got that right. Oh, it's not gonna go out, is it? No, oh, I can't promise anything. But if it does go out, you know, you can count on me and my team to fix it. Oh, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. you, you don't know how much that means to me or my grandmother. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's my favorite part of the job. I mean, people get scared or upset when the power goes out. They feel powerless. Mm, that sounds about right. Yeah. But I get the chance to bring them peace again by turning the power back on. Mm. Yeah. Cool. <gasps> Too many tacos Tuesday? Is that tumbling and turning in your tummy tiresome? Let's face it, you've got indigestion. People need to feel peace, you know? I do. What a satisfying job you have yeah. with unusual side effects. <laughs> but you bring light to people's darkness in more ways than one. Yeah. Well, that's how I like to conduct my business. Because you can 
you conduct electricity. Oh! No! Yeah. I don't conduct! <laughs> yeah. Of course! Oh, right. Yeah. Well, it's been great having you on the show. You want to stick around for a little while? Oh, I won't resist. Okay. okay. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, everyone. Hey, Kellen. Hey, we've got a friend on the show with us today. Mind if she hangs out for the Bible story? That would be perfect. I could use the help of all three of you. Oh, sounds good. What for? Human Head Puppet Theater! Yes! Today's story comes from the book of 1 Samuel. Now, you might have heard of the story of a shepherd boy named David who defeated a giant named Goliath. Well, after that, but before David became king of Israel, he and his men were staying in the desert of Paran. Nearby, in a place called Carmel, was a man named Nabal. Nabal owned a bunch of goats and sheep, and he was super wealthy. I am Nabal. I love my money and my land, and most of all, my sheep. Aww. You love your sheep most? Oh, uh, and of course you, my wife. Uh, Abigail, I love you equally as much as my sheep. Thank you. Now, who wants a haircut? So it was sheep shearing time for Nabal, which was usually a great time of celebration because sheep's wool could be sold for a lot of money. And when David heard that Nabal was clipping the wool off his sheep, he thought it would be a good time to ask Nabal for a favor. So David sent a message to Nabal. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, Nabal. Yes? Uh, 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 hello, I have a message from David, the uh, son of Jesse. <clears throat> May you live a long time and everything you go well with you and your family. Uh -huh. When your shepherds here are with us, we protected them. Ask your servants, they'll tell you. Uh -huh. So please be kind to us and give us anything you can find for us. Is that all? Yes. <laughs> Good. Then allow me to respond. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ahem. Who is this David? I don't know a son of Jesse. Why should I give away my bread and water? I, I, I mean, we're, we're pretty hungry, and we are living in the desert. <laughs> I don't care. Why would I give food to men who come from who? Huh. No, sir. It, 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 it's just wool. It doesn't hurt. Go! No! David's not going to like this. Yeah, David did not like that. I'm so mad. All right, men. How many of us are there? You see, one, two, 35, 400. Yes, each of you put on your swords. Nabal will pay for this insult. I'll be all like, ha, and ha, and ha, 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 ha. Watch out, Nabal. To battle! It seems like everyone was kind of overreacting, doesn't it? There was gonna be a war over something that seemed so small. Fortunately, there was one person who kept her head. When Abigail heard how Nabal had treated David's messenger, she came up with a plan to make peace. <gasps> yes, Abigail? Pack up. 200 loaves of bread. Right. Oh, oh, and, and 200, come back, and 200 cakes of fresh fig. Figs, got it. Oh, 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 oh. And 100 raisin cakes. Bread, figs, raisins, mm -hmm. check. What are you waiting for? Go! We've got to meet David and his men before they get here. Right. <gasps> Abigail took a huge load of food out to David and his men. Oh! 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 
Pardon your servant, sir. Oh, hello. Please let me speak to you. Mm. Don't pay any attention to that evil man, Nabal. Mm. He's always doing foolish things. Well, you got that right. I mean, literally, his name means foolish person. Oh. Listen, I didn't see the messenger you sent before. I've brought gifts to give to your men, see? <gasps> Are those raisin cakes? Mm-hmm. Mm. Sir, the Lord has kept you from getting even with Nabal. You will rule Israel someday. Now you won't have to worry about that time you got revenge for no good reason. Praise the Lord. He has sent you to find me. May the Lord bless you for what you've done. Now go home in peace. I'll do what you ask. Phew! All right. No, oh, about those raisin cakes. Oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely, absolutely. Mm. <clears throat> raisin cake, please! The end. Wow, that Abigail lady was awesome. Yeah. She sure was. She stepped up to the plate as peacemaker between Nabal and David. And she saved a ton of people's lives in the process. Yep, we can learn so much from Abigail. The stakes may not ever be life or death for us, but we can still help other people make peace when they're in a fight. Yeah, that's good to remember. Hey, thanks for the awesome Bible story, Kellen. Hey, my pleasure. I'll see you guys next time. Eh, oh, another radio station? Nope, I just... I just thought of a question. Oh, uh, oh, well then, reveal the question. How can you be a peacemaker? Yeah, yeah, life is full of opportunities to help people make peace. Yeah, maybe, maybe your friends or siblings are upset with one another and, and you can help them understand each other's point of view. Or when someone has a hard day, you can encourage them that everything will be okay. Yeah, sometimes you might feel like you don't know what to do, but remember, Jesus is full of peace and he can help you bring that peace to others. That's right, talk it out. How can you be a peacemaker? I'm Brandon. I'm Sparky. I'm John, and this was the So and So Show. Hey, great show, Sparky. Thank you, John. No. <laughs> Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> Gonna have to charge you for that one. <laughs> oh. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Are you ready for some extreme, outrageous, and preposterous golf cart action? Come on down to the mediocre dome in Sheboygan for the Monster Golf Cart Derby. Featuring your favorite, favorite carts, Bunker Blaster, The Shake, and Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.